come on with me. So, um, this is broccolini, and you can see I have a little broccolini on here. Um, this is my regular broccoli, and what's happening is, you know, my broccoli head never got super big, and I noticed that the florette was starting to open up, and so now it's starting to flower. So, so a lot of people don't realize that broccoli, when you're eating broccoli, you're actually eating the flower. So here's a little bundle that's a little bit tighter. But see, they're already starting to open up. So I decided, because one little head of broccoli is not really something worth harvesting, so I'm gonna let this go to seed. So this is gonna sprout and then um, flower, which will attract bees and other pollinators, and then will self-seed. I, I will leave it and the pods will fall to the ground and I'll have broccoli again next fall when it's cooler i think it's just gotten too hot and so that's why i didn't stress out about it now who remembers this is romaine lettuce right and this is the lettuce that went, that was from the other plant i mean not the other plant the old house and it's self-seeded so what i'm doing is i'm doing this again i've been eating the romaine leaves uh but here is a early part of it see it's coming up like that and um it's flowering already and i know this will work because it worked because these came from the other house right so this will self-seed and in the fall i promise you you'll see this romaine come back up now uh it's gonna go so these are all the same brassicas family right so they're all related so um that's the broccoli this is the next stage and here's the advanced stage so this is a broccolini that started uh bolting on me and the flowers become these little pods right here. You see that? These little seed pods. And these seed pods will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, you can collect the seeds. You can give them away. It's very simple. You have, to, you have to wait for these seed pods to get bigger. And they'll turn brown. <clears throat> and that's when you know you can cut it off the plant. And I'll literally just pick it off the plant. And I'll and I will just rub it in the ground like like just rub it in my fingers and let it fall onto the ground like that and not not even worry about planting it and and that broccolini will come back so remember the um, the brassicas like this cabbage and stuff they're really more cold weather crops so I was trying to get a crop in before the um, heat came but I think that it's gonna be too hot for them so I just decided to let this seed. And there's a, there's a garden lesson here. So <clears throat> there's a life lesson here in the garden, which is this. Um, sometimes it's better not, not to harvest. Sometimes it's better to let things to go to, go to seed. You know, you, you don't eat the broccoli right now because you know if you let it flower and seed down the road, you'll have a much bigger harvest you'll have more crops more things to to eat right so that <clears throat> so that's also true in life life is like that sometimes like we want to take action right then and there but sometimes it's better sometimes it's better to just you know hang tight and let things like like uh, reseed themselves like you'll have a bigger harvest you have more abundance right so we have that right now that's what you're seeing in the world right now like the um the mass mandates the people wanting to go on trips plane tickets are ridiculously high airbnbs have doubled uh you know you can't you can't find rentals uh people are traveling and it, and it's because they are eating the, the harvest now instead of waiting um people are have FOMO, fear of missing out. So they're trying to buy a house right now. It's crazy. Um, the house behind me, for example, I, I swear to goodness, they have not worked on that house in two weeks. And I know it's because there's no lumber because they're at that stage now. They're ready to frame. And um, twice this week, I've only seen one guy walk through it and just kind of look at it, make sure everything's still there, just check on the site. But it's a dead site. So um you know 
people are just trying to they're 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 so eager and they're white they're wanting to eat and all this sort of stuff right now when you really need to to um, plan for the future this is the time to plan for the future right so this is the time not to buy stuff but to but to sell your stuff I'll give you another example a personal example I started looking yesterday at um, golf carts because uh, Mason's new school is down the road but it's too far to walk uh, but you know I I think it would be fun if I got a golf cart and took her to school in the golf cart and I could just drive her right up the sidewalk you know <laughs> as opposed to having to get in the car pool lane or anything like that and uh, and then zip back home you know and it would be fun so I started looking at golf carts just so I can set the price so I can see how much the price is gonna drop you know when the economy drops and hits this fall like I'll pick like they might be asking 3,000 or 3,500 for it right now but in the fall they might drop that that same cart might be 2,000 or, or, or 1,500 you never know so that's me trying to think about what's coming down the road and and you know that's a life lesson from the garden you know and and then what happens is once I let these guys seed self seed it will be every year year and year year over year who understands what I'm saying so so I won't ever have to replant Rome, uh, romaine because I know that bad boy is like he's doing good like it loves it here you know so what I said uh, uh, on one of my gardening videos earlier was like it's not that hard of work see people will come here remember that remember that video like in March when I first moved here and there was not much here and I said people when you're planting your starting your garden people will say oh yeah that's all right but they're gonna come in May and June and they're gonna see this bad boy all green and all the stuff going up on the on the wall behind me and they're gonna go wow you're such a good gardener but I already saw it in my head right so next fall like when this romaine reseeds and the broccoli reseeds and the arugula reseeds and the cilantro reseeds like i they'll say wow you, you're such a good gardener but i know it's nature doing the work it's all planned down the road so the same thing with my finances the same thing with this tribe the same thing with uh you know writing books it's all you, you, you got this this vi that's right you got this vision you got this planning and it's all lessons from the garden right well, that's my lessons from the garden <laughs> hope you enjoyed that